So we start this tour of our April granary sale with the high five section. So here is lot number one in the sale, which is an early 1950s Garrard Model 301 transcription motor turntable, which are incredibly rare and uh, hardly ever see these coming out of sale at auction, but it's, um, it's the holy grail for um, hi-fi collectors. So that one, I, I would think, is probably going to be six to eight hundred, something like that. Um, surrounded by more hi-fi equipment. So here is a B&O um, hi-fi system, so it's a multi-CD player. There's this um, control system as well. All these speakers, they all go with it. So all six of these are part of that set up here. So that's all one lot. And then over here is a separate lot. These are B and O as well. These floor standing speakers, which are quite sculptural items, aren't they? All in working order as well. Magnificent start to the sale. There's some earlier sort of valve hi-fi behind it as well, which is quite interesting stuff. Uh, that's it there. Um, on the wall behind it is a 50 million year old um, fossilised fish. Which is quite a, an amazing thing, isn't it? It looks great in the frame. Nice way to display that. And coming further down the table here, uh, this is interesting. This, this is an old photograph of Hastings Seafront. So this now is the Fish Cafe on Rock and Oar in Hastings, and this is Winston Churchill winkling up. <laughs> so this is the Winkle Club of Hastings, who are a charity um, fundraising group of um, local men, mainly, I think. Uh, but although, no, it's not only men, because the Queen Mother was a member. And they all have a little winkle <laughs> in their hands, and when you're told to winkle up, you have to hold your winkle in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this being used against me in the future. <laughs> uh, there's a, a, an old uh, Bible here, which is in um, Gaelic. So this was published in 1807. That's quite... Uh, oh, it's this. Well, we, before we move on, this is a uh, collection of David Bowie picture discs in an album there some nice set there all in their original card folder as well um, got a couple of these um, petrol pump uh, illuminated tops so that one for pink paraffin which make a great lamp or light feature here and there's another one over here for shell Unfortunately, it has a bit of damage on the top of this one and a bit of a crack through the glass. But what a great sculptural item that is. An original old one, that as well. And as we go around the table here, we have a tribal nail figure with all sorts of uh, fetish items attached to it. Um, another fetish item here is a bus conductor's outfit. <laughs> so there's a cap and ticket machines and tickets got collections of bus tickets in this time always very desirable things and what else there's a sign here a nice original shop sign for pond yachts so this would have hung outside a pond yacht sales place on chains it's a good thing isn't it uh, there's actually loads of items along these tables that's Coca-Cola enamel sign. Medicine cabinet there. These are clarion bells from Heavy Horses. So these are original, um, probably early 19th century a set of these bells that Heavy Horses would have worn. Oh, would have worn to warn people to get out of the way because they couldn't stop very easily. But they sound magnificent when they're. Uh... Imagine those on the horse. It's the, the full set. Amazing. Some uh, car bonnets here from Wolseley, an MG and a Riley up here. Uh, what else? 
else should we go? Go down this aisle here. More hi fi and vinyl. There's a huge collection of these. Um, these are magic lantern slides. So these are what people would have used for entertainment in the sort of late Victorian period. And that one, if you can see it, is the temples at Luxor, at Karnak. So these are old photographs. So these are 120 odd years old. And there are boxfuls of these, which you project onto the wall with a magic lantern projector. So there's hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, in those boxes, all being sold as one collection. And what else have we got? fittings and chandeliers there are so many interesting things to look through everything is photographed on the website and it has to be this time because we're still under lockdown unfortunately so the sale this time has to be behind closed doors because it's a public event or it should be a public event so we're not allowed to have people in the building this time I'm afraid and viewing is just by appointment only as well. And we just keep going down here. Amazing old photograph, first war period training ground here. Look at the rain on the ground. Absolutely soaked soldiers getting ready to go off. Um, there's no date on that one, is there? No. And just have a look through the cabinet here. First World War medals in there. Council of the Borough of Lambeth Tug of War Prize, 1901. That's Dalton. And then we have Tunbridge Ware items in here and Sorrento Ware. absolutely full of items here so we have about I think about 1200 lots to sell on this floor alone so there's about that's on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week um, more fossilized items here as well that lovely fish fossilized fish Instruments. Right, enormous great. Is that a bassoon? Or an oboe, potentially. Oboe. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so that whole pile of instruments, glockenspiel, and all sorts, are all one lot. That's 849. Um, some really interesting pictures this time as well. Some lovely paintings. I really like this one. Alan Hancock, that's an original acrylic painting. Um, what else have we got? These, these are by Alan Rankle. These are very well um, recorded and exhibited local artists. So those three paintings are all separate lots. Lovely carved wood Florentine wall mirror there. Looks in nice condition as well. Uh, well that's an interesting painting. Don't know the artist, unfortunately. That Ingleton, but. Uh, very effective aircraft painting there. And this is more painting, so we'll finish over here. Going past this great item here, which is um, part of a shop till. So it's the original plaque here for Jay Cox. So it's late Victorian, brass mounted mahogany. And it has all these uh, racks in here, which I think are for... Postage stamps. Stamps, yes. <laughs> I was going to say tickets, but they're stamps. So that's a proper Victorian shop fitting there. And then we'll just finish up in this corner for this floor. We have this huge photograph, signed photo of Muhammad Ali. So that's, that's an original signature there. It has a, a um, certificate of authenticity to go with it. There's a few interesting other pictures here as well this one which is actually very modern but beautifully painted 
very effective thing and a lovely frame as well and an early uh, 19th century portrait which is an original oil there sort of going to be 100 150 pounds i suppose and this one is that one got a stamp on the back looks very looks very good quality beautifully made barnsley cotswold school oh it's cotswold very good quality frame that so that's it for this top floor which is as i said best viewed online really so the sale is next tuesday and wednesday for this floor furniture on the two lower floors is on thursday but everything is illustrated so please have a look through the website uh, the auction is live online only so uh, if you'd like to have a bid on something then you just need to go to either easylive.com or the saleroom.com and register to bid at that sale and that's it so we'll have a look at the furniture thank you very much <laughs>